Let's check what's happening down south and we'll bring in Dale Israel, uh, one News Cebu desk editor and also the editor of The Freeman. Dale, balita ko may investigasyon na no dyan at may akusasyon at may ching-ching. Totoo ba ito? <laughs> That's correct. Mayong hapon, Lord and Denise. Yes, uh, but me, I'll tell you a little bit about the weather here in Cebu. It's uh, cloudy in the morning, but now the sun is up and it's in fact uh, starting to get really warm here. A very good weather. This is very much better than the weather we had over the weekend where there are on and off rains, especially Saturday and until uh, dawn on Sunday. And on those days, yeah, uh, the two persons died because of the heavy rains brought about by the effects of typhoon ending in Cebu. Eight were hurt and over 40 individuals were evacuated in Barangay Tisa and Barangay San Jose. This is because of the collapsed wall and riprap. A 17-year-old died in Tisa and a 26-year-old mother died in Barangay San Jose. They were buried in the rubble from the wall and the riprap. And uh, we were able to get to the area in San Jose yesterday. But uh, according to uh, acting Cebu City Mayor uh, Raymond Garcia, he will have the incident investigated because of uh, he will actually check the uh, permits being issued to the, to the owners of the wall and the, the riprap, especially that uh, in San Jose, because uh, residents were saying that uh, there's a digging in the area near the where the wall collapsed. So um, the mayor is investigating, or the acting mayor is investigating um, the incident. He is not yet uh, naming the owner of the, of the property, but we heard that this is a property owned by a big businessman in Cebu City. So we were able to get to the area in San Jose yesterday, and we saw this dog named Ching Ching. We had uh, three barangay workers as guide because the area is dangerous. So we went near the house and what's left of the house, and there we saw this dog named Ching Ching. According to the barangay workers, she never left the house after she was taken out along with the 26-year-old mother, Claire Dos Dos, and the six-month-old infant. The dog, they said, played a crucial role in helping the responders find both the baby and the mother. The dog made scratching sounds when the responders had a hard time finding the location of both. The sounds from the dog helped in locating both, and then, but it's just sad that the mother had died and uh, because she, was, she actually covered her baby from the falling concrete. The dog won't leave the area for after they were taken out. Well, when the father and the other children went to the nearby uh, relative's house, um, just two houses away, so they just give the dog food and water because the dog always goes back to the, to the uh, what's left of the house. And uh, so they give him uh, her uh, dog food and uh, water while she stays at the house. The dog is also limping, and we already heard from uh, a lot of promises from concerned citizens or netizens to help the dog and fix the limp. So we also had, uh, we saw messages also saying that um, vets are offering their services for the dog. Meanwhile, um, uh, Lord and Denise, in Lapu-Lapu City, where this uh, Pogo hub was earlier raided in Barangay Agos, videos showing Mayor Jonard Chan singing on stage the KPV bar inside the, the compound. This uh, video has been making the rounds on the internet and the mayor admitted that it happened around 2020 and he did he admits he was friends with the owner. And But the mayor said uh, that he did not know that the tourist garden hotel was doing something illegal. So he also explained yesterday that the Pogo operations in the hotel started just a month ago based on investigation reports after the Pogo uh, operations were closed in Bamban and uh, in Pampanga. So he said that the Pogo operations started to transfer in Lapu-Lapu City, and this is still being uh, verified. So the area seemed closed uh, compared to before, according to Mayor uh, Chan, because he went there a couple of times, and he said that uh, before the the the, the Garden Hotel is is just uh, free. I mean, people can freely go in and out of the Garden Hotel, and uh, it seems just a month ago uh, it's it's already uh, close to the public. And he said he will never be friends with people who are doing something illegal. And he issued a cease and desist order yesterday. He personally plastered the, the order at the gates of the compound of this uh, garden uh, hotel. Lord, Denise? Oh, Dale, Dale, okay. Uh, uh, a little bit of clarification. Ano? So that hotel is known for pogo operations, but yet, uh, yet that hotel is also... Um, uh, known for as uh, entertainment spots, dining, ano, paano ba ito? The hotel actually, Lord, uh, started um, in 2020, and uh, it was actually, the permits asked was a KTV bar, a grocery, and a uh, hotel, 
So uh, that's, those are the permits be, being uh, asked up from the city hall, and that's the permits that are given to the city hall. And uh, according to Mayor Chang, he never issued a POGO permit because uh, there was none, no uh, recommendation from PAGPOR to operate such. So he said uh, he, 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 he said that uh, he never issued this POGO permit. He just issued the permits for hotel, for KTV, for a grocery, and a restaurant. So that's why it's uh, that's why he was there. Uh, I mean, he, he was able to go there because uh, it was a KTV, it was a grocery and a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So FO na, no? Abangan ang susunod na kabanata. Pero sana hindi pa tayo friendship over. Dale Israel, maraming maraming salamat sa iyo. And say hello to Ching Ching, ha? Thank you. Yan po ang Magat ating... Lang. One News, Sibudask and the Freeman Editor, Dale Israel.